Welcome to Open Mic Night. Give it up for your host and MC, Michael Blank. Boom, baby. Welcome back to Open Mic Night. I'm driving to the open mic right now. I haven't written any jokes today, but that's okay because the open mic doesn't start for another three hours. So I have some time to think of some stuff. And we got about an hour drive ahead of us. So maybe I'll think of some jokes on the way, but probably not. Usually I don't think of jokes when I'm driving. I know other comedians, my friend Phil, he says that whenever he's driving, he thinks of jokes, not me. Maybe when I'm just walking around or interacting with other people, I'll think of a joke, but generally not when I'm driving. Anyways, I will see you fuckers at the open mic. We made it to Murph's Pub, baby. Let's go sign up, see what spot we get. Oh shit, boys, we have to take the number one spot tonight because the next available spot would be number 13. And I don't want to be here that late. I forgot to eat before I left, so this video is sponsored by McDonald's. I got a McChicken and a large fries. The fries were free because I have the app. Get the McDonald's app if you don't have it. I'll put you on. Always great deals. Absolute fire french fries. I hope I don't get any ketchup on my yellow shirt. Fire McChicken, 10 out of 10. Yo, we at Merv's waiting for the open mic to start. We out here with Joe Hansen. What's up, guys? How you doing tonight? Dude, we're doing good. We're running all, like, same shit. Haven't rode anything in four weeks. That's what it's all about, baby. It's all about repetition until it's dead, and then keep burying it. Joe, you got engaged recently. Mm-hmm, yeah. How'd you do that? Dude, I, essentially, I asked her to go to a two for 20 at Applebee's, and then uh, just, you know, busted out that ring and threw it at her face. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> That would be a beautiful proposal. It was. It was. It was very nice. Did you actually take her to Applebee's? No. 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 Uh, even shittier than that, at next to a river. That's and beautiful. What about you? Running new shit? Yeah, I just wrote three new jokes. I'm excited. Nice. And well, open mic's gonna start any minute now. Michael's opening up the show. He's gonna set the tone. Yep. First comedian. We did it, baby. It wasn't bad. I was the first comedian. It wasn't a super full room, but it was a pretty good crowd. There's almost always a good crowd at this open mic. I did end up writing three new jokes and a couple of them might actually have potential. I wrote a joke about lifeguarding. I used to be a lifeguard, but I got fired from being a lifeguard for a uniform violation. Oh. Yeah, they said I wasn't allowed to carry a gun. <laughs> I was like, but I'm a lifeguard. You think this whistle is going to stop them? <laughs> no running, bitch. <laughs> it was sweet. I had the highest kill rate at Shawnee Mission Pool. <laughs> Nobody drowned under my watch either. <laughs> there are also no survivors. So. And I wrote a joke about telling people that you love them. Guys, uh, I do want to get serious for a second. Always tell the people you love them that you love them while you have the chance. I never told my grandpa that I loved him, and now it's too late. He's not dead or anything, I just don't love him anymore. <laughs> and I wrote a joke about global warming. Global warming is getting out of control, right? Six months ago there was snow on the ground. Now it's 100 degrees outside. Six more months we'll all be dead. That's my impression of a guy who doesn't understand the changing of the seasons. So those are my new jokes. I tried to work on that erection joke again, but I fucked it up and it didn't really go anywhere. The word erection also means building. It's kind of weird, like, do you guys remember that part in King Kong when he climbed on top of that towering erection? I was hooking up with a girl, I was really drunk, and I lost my boner. But then I got it back, but then I lost it again. I lost two erections in the span of 20 minutes. I felt like New York on 9-11, right? <laughs> Just trying to set up the erection 9-11 joke that whole time. Tried to make the strong independent woman joke. It did not work at all. For some reason when I asked for the strong independent women to cheer, 
like a bunch of dudes cheered. It's like half dudes and half women. So it's kind of weird. We got any strong, independent women in the audience? Make some noise. <laughs> now I know who to avoid. Right? Strong, independent. Where's my weak, codependent women at? That's my type. No, I don't have anything against strong, independent women. But I did date one one time, and she tried to peg me. So, yeah. She didn't even really try. She just mentioned the word strap on. I was like, I'm out. <laughs> but yeah, that shit bombed. Didn't get out on a big laugh. But ultimately, it was a good set. I'm glad I came out here. Now I'm about to book it back to Kansas City. Probably going to get there about 11.30 p.m. And then I'm going to get hammered. Anyways, that has been the open mic tonight. The next open mic will be on Tuesday at the Comedy Club. I fucking love you guys. Thank you for coming. Peace.